Title Favorite Christmas Stories Christmas Joys Author Kathleen Daly Genre Christmas Tale Shortly Description The Adventure of A Little Mouse and Christmas Mr. and Mrs. Mouse Named their new baby Chris Mouse Because he was born at Christmas time and, a happy time it was. Um, let's take Chris to see, the joys of Christmas. Said, Father Mouse. The first thing they saw, was a snowman. Snow falls from the sky, on cold days in winter. Say mother. Let's make snowballs. Soon they were throwing snowballs, at each other. And making a, snow mouse. With holly berries for eyes. On the high street, all the shop windows were alight. There's a crib, said father. Like the one where baby Jesus was born on the first Christmas long ago. And there's the first mouse he saw, said Chris. Oh look, said father mouse. Our house people have made a special treat for us. It's really for the birds said mother. But they won't mind if we have a nibble. That pretty ring of holly. And ivy. And fur reminds people that green things grow. Even in winter. It's nature's gift to us. Said father. My, it smells good in here. Said Chris Mouse. Mrs. People is baking mince pies. And gingerbread cookies. For tomorrow's feast, said mother. There'll be turkey and stuffing. And lovely mouse cheese for us, said father. Sniffing happily. What pretty paper and ribbons, said Christ mouse. The dad and mum people are wrapping presents, said father mouse. And Liz and David are writing cards, said mother. One of the joys of Christmas is remembering all your friends. Now they are decorating the tree. Say father. Right on top, they put a star. To remember the one that shone over baby Jesus's table. Why are the children hanging up stockings? Asked Christ, Christ mouse. If they have been good children, they will find their stockings full of goodies tomorrow. Said mother. Listen to that beautiful sound. Said Chris Mouse. The Mouse family ran to their outside hole. They are singing Christmas carols. Said father. Carols tell of the joys of Christmas. Suddenly there was a sound of jingle bells. That must be Santa. Said mother. He and his elves make toys for children. And mice. All over the world. Chris Mouse. Hung a mouse-sized sock at the foot of his bed. And tried to sleep. Suddenly there was a thump on the roof. Then washed down the chimney came roly-poly Santa Claus. Christ Mouse darted out of his hole. And up the chimney. On the roof was a beautiful sledge. Loaded with sacks. And, in front of it, were eight tiny reindeer. Santa came puffing up the chimney. Ho, ho, he said. Off we go. Lots more houses to visit before morning. His eyes twinkled at Chris Mouse. Then he was gone. Sledge. Reindeer. And all. Chris Mouse was very sleepy. He slid down the chimney and snuggled deep into bed with all the joys of Christmas, dancing in his bead. Happy Christmas! Liz and David were shouting merrily as they opened their presents. There was a toy train for David with railway tracks and signals. Liz found a wonderful robot doll that could add numbers. 
and play puzzle games and talk. Dad got a Christmas tie, all red and green. And Mum got furry slippers. And now for us, said Father Mouse. He kissed Mother and Chris. That's mistletoe, he said, pointing overhead. It's good luck to kiss under the mistletoe. I like it, said Mother. Let's do it again. And they did. Chris Mouse stared and stared at the tiny fir branch Christmas tree. There were ribbons and tinsels. And underneath was a lovely mouse sledge. Just right for three. Looks as if Santa found our little mouse house, said Father. Just then, there were happy shouts outside. Liz and David. We're riding their brand new sledges down the hill. Come on, let's go, said Father. And a Merry Christmas to all, shouted Chris Mouse.